mean, not not my vape date, but my aspect. <laughs> no, no. Aspect. Little black vape. There we go. Apocalyptico. I at least need these. Did someone say apocalyptica or apocalyptico? I have apocalyptico underscore one. Two. Is that it? I have no idea. I just know apocalyptico is a movie. I'm trying to find your channel. You're a Twitcher, right? Oh yeah, that one's Axel Grave. I just started streaming like right now <laughs> probably like five seconds or a minute ago at this point unless i'm on the wrong profile again i mean discord says you're streaming so damn you discord you snitch I know that name. that's a great thing fuck you to johnny all right but let's see where is stream manager there we go get that over there and besides that, I mean, I think everyone's good, ready. Michael, you need some reminders of what was going on, or did everyone update you? What? Do you remember what happened last week? Last time on Dragon Ball Z. Yes, I remember. There's also D&D &D Ball Z. Ha, <laughs> ballsy D&D. &D. Yeah. Except for <laughs> not very ballsy. But man, are we fun. Well... I'm not a fighter, and I'm not a monk, and I'm not a barbarian, so I can't exactly be bald. See. Okay, but the the monk said no thank you against the the T Rex. Axel, do I does a fifteen function enough to start dragging the dino? Um, what what are you again? What's your race? I am a warforged. Warforged. I am eight um, feet tall, and I am. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll say yes for that. And you're. Oh wait, sorry. That's a charisma. Uh man, you have really basic bitch strength, don't you? I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was rolling a d twenty unmodified. I strength. no, I know. I was just looking at it and like, you know, I'm used to warforged being stronger. Uh, Warforge start with additional uh, constitution, not necessarily. Oh, uh, okay, that was it. All right. Uh, I just always imagine mechanical men to be strong. That's just me. I know that's 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 that's, that's stereotyping. I know they can be dainty and wrong. lovely. You're, you're not you're not wrong, but this this is a leaf uh, Warforge, not so much a bulk Warforge. Fair. Even though he was hired as a laborer, because the people <laughs> who hired him thought exactly like you. <laughs> hey look man stereotypes exist that doesn't mean they're right but it doesn't mean they're wrong sometimes i think both our warforges are pretty like just average um yeah strength. yeah to be fair yours is like an offshoot i would say yeah mine's more of a doll having said that uh we can definitely continue back into this everything sh should be kind of ready to go story-wise and other things as with the last time, I will be uh, having fun as the DM, because that's what I do. Huh? And I hope you guys are having fun as well. If anything is bothering you, let me know. So, the the dino is like a rotting mess. Yeah, he's, he's dead now. And this guy is still he's just, good, like, you know, he's just like, what the f is going on here? Do you not swear? Uh, I sometimes uh, self uh, moderate because I used to be a school teacher. Oh, I said that in character. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is this is really tough. Uh, the answer is the same though. Fair. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna go get the dragon. Yeah, Jem just said let's. Like, she's like, okay, I'm gonna go find this dragon because I cannot afford to lose a dragon. I follow Jim. Alrighty. There we go. There's mine. Oh, man. So much I, I look in their direction, but I'm currently in the middle of dragging a zombie, undead, no longer undead thing. 
so I'm sticking to my defense. He's sticking to his guns, and I respect it. Uh, Pius is going to look at you and, and look around, and she's going to be like, you know, you know we have people for that. So didn't you hire someone last week? You even asked for a stipend, Gunther. I never do anything. Wait, that's that's not the way I want to phrase that. I never ask others to do things I wouldn't do myself. Hmm. Fair. Um, maybe ask others though to help you do things that you can't do yourself. I stop, nod at him, and go, yeah, I'll be back. And I go find my... <laughs> awesome. Uh, having said that, uh, does our lovely doll pair uh, have anything they want to do? Is the doll just sitting on the ground? At this no, point... the doll is sitting no. on my shoulder, damn it. Yeah, yeah. He, he picked her back up and ran off. She's still pretending that... She's not, she's, she hasn't moved yet. Yeah, she only talked once. It's not creepy at yeah. all. Yeah, and then it's kind of like one of those things like, did she really talk? Or was that part of my imagination? Creepy dullness. I mean, was this ranger just shooting Elder Bolt out of his shoulder? Or was that my imagination? <laughs> We're going to call him Optimus Prime and just get it over. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> I should have made a Warforge then and named him Optimus Prime. <laughs> yeah, she should have. Yeah, my the doll is just gonna continue doing the things that she was doing prior, and those who I've spoken to should know what are the things that she is doing. Creeping me out specifically. <laughs> Same. Rip. Rip. Okay. Uh, now that I am actually heading away to go get laborers, and they the dragon went. East, even though I don't know that, but the dragon went east. I'm tracking the dragon essentially. Yeah, yes. I'm following Gem. We, I think the dragon went towards the other camp, like towards our camp. Yeah, which is east. Oh, I thought it was west. It's west. <laughs> At least, because the dragon ran off of this oh, map. Least. The dragon ran off of this map to well, the east. The, the the dragon went this way. You're right. The dragon did indeed go this direction. And if our camp is to the west of this camp, which would not make sense seeing as we came in from the east side of this camp. Yeah. It's that's why I, I was, I was getting a bit confused. It's all in a circle. We're all in a big <laughs> circle here. Just the, the, the... Okay, so <laughs> am I having to follow Gem tour as they hunt the dragon as I head back to camp to try to Yes, yeah, so camp... Camp, for whatever reason, as we have gotten madly confused, both on pr placing ourselves on the map and <laughs> saying orientation. Camp is this way. Weast. Understood. To the weast. <laughs> yes, to the weast. <laughs> God damn but it. The way out that I have to take is towards where I'm going, down here, right? Yes, this is indeed the path towards the camp, down here. So yeah. I'm looking for a dragon. Yeah. I'm following Gem. And on the way, I'm going to look for any extra meat that I could use to bribe said dragon with. I'm gonna so, pull up my loot and just wait. Seeing as, I'm, seeing as I'm coming up behind them, I jog the trike. Ranger instincts dictate me to follow them. The doll. The doll. No, it's fine. You can not like the doll. Gem, no, the, doll, the doll is chasing. <laughs> no, not the doll is not chasing her. The hunter is following them. She's not concerned with the doll right now. She's concerned with fighting this dragon. I can have multiple concerns. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to her livelihood and her job, Gem does not. <laughs> Well, you gotta remember, you gotta watch your back. Well, she yeah, doesn't have to watch her back, I can watch it for her. No, not, that was not in character. My character okay, hasn't been looking at I just need to, once I catch up, um, I tell the, the, the girls, once 
we're at camp. I need to send some laborers to go grab the body of the dinosaur, and then I can come. And you can what? You cut out. And then I can come help you. Okay. Okay. Bring meat. Lots of meat. Maybe some coins. You can find them. You guys are making me hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna mute myself because I. Can't. Here's the thing. I wrote down that the dragon likes long walks and meat. <laughs> he does. So meat. I mean, I actually had a full-fledged conversation with this dragon in Draconic. So. Yes, you did. So I know what the dragon really wants. What it really, really wants? Women. Yes. <laughs> yes, we we will uh we will go with that. And now I feel like I found this and now I feel like I found the secret meaning meaning of zig zig pop. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Alrighty, so we have some people heading back to camp, yes. And then we have someone dragging a dinosaur back to camp, I assume. No, I'm heading back to camp to assign laborers to come get the dragon. Ah, very good. Management. And then, and then I'm going to head with them to go try and capture the uh And Ivista said that they were going to go to the tent and get their lion back. Yes, yeah, so they're not here right now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, yeah, gonna disappear gonna them. Her, like, ten hours. Not literally ten hours. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. Long sleep. Let, let me exaggerate. No. Grr. They go to sleep. They sleep a full eight hours. They wake up and think that their their dead dr line was just. Right, also, sure I'm sad that you this. took the initiative order off because I was using that to cover the spider. <laughs> All right. I mean, I can uh, get that back to yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll give that back to you to cover the spider <laughs> for now. I hate spiders. I hate spiders. It looks like it's holding a gun. It was a gangster spider. It's a spit roast. Where'd my oh. name go? It looks like a gun. Well, th at that point, also look at what's coming out of its butt. So it either it's holding a gun and using a butt plug, or it's being. <laughs> hey, I don't judge. I don't judge what the we, spider likes. We don't kink shame here. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. <laughs> I changed your kink shame. Uh. God damn it. So, we follow the dragon. Do we find it? Uh, no, but you do arrive back at camp. Okay. Following signs of the dragon. So, let me move you, you know, back to your camp. Kayam. I assign a couple laborers to go off and pick up said shenanigans. All right. Um, and then I also notify them that the shows are tomorrow. Not uh, Leroy, the transgender barmaid, is just gonna be like, "Fuck, man, we already set Blame up for today." Blame Paz. Oh. It's all Paz. It usually is. She can juggle everything but the schedule. Ha. All right, Steve. Yes, Steve the intern. No, I don't want Steve Marmaduke. Let's go. We gotta go drag a dinosaur. You're dragging the butt end. At that point, it's not really dragging, it's pushing, which is very much worse than pulling. You can drag Especially forward. <laughs> it's not dragging. <laughs> if you've never seen someone drag from behind, you don't know drag. Alright, I want, since I don't see clearance anywhere, I would ask someone around who hasn't been sent off to fetch a dead T-Rex. If they seen the dragon, and if so, which way did it go? That's when you hear an idiot that's all like, What's a dragon? What? No. Although you do hear someone say, Dragon? I killed one of those once. Yes. <laughs> oh, crap. That would be investigation, wouldn't it? Yeah, it probably is for finding that. Can I roll two? Yeah. Please do. Okay, that's not completely terrible, but I do have a negative modifier, so 13. So, uh, 
with just your general sight, you know, seeing things, you don't notice any clear signs of a dragon specifically having passed over? I said I was asking people. Oh, you're asking people. All right, so yes. that makes a difference. So asking I'm... people uh, with a 13. So there's not that many people around the crowd, mostly workers at this point, with some of the crowd pouring in since we're kind of approaching more of today's show time. Speaking of, you do have tonight's regular showcase to perform. Anyway, uh, <laughs> oh, gosh, yeah. uh, which is up to you. I mean, that's that's technically up to your ring ringmaster. Mm. And uh, yeah, basically they they look at you and they're like, yeah, we saw the dragon, but it was uh, in the sky and then it was gone. Although I and don't. They they didn't bother to point. Yeah, I I saw it go a general that direction. Now nah, they they seem pretty nonplussed about the dragon. I have a 19. All right, that's a little, that's a little bit better. So they're like, yeah, you you find one person who's like, I saw the dragon, uh, but they oh. kind of flew over here and talked to some chick over by the food prep. Talk to a chick? Yeah, it was weird. They they talked about fishing or something, and then he was gone. Huh. Let's go see if we can find the chick. Over to the food prep area, and I see if I can find the chip. Check. Do I find the chick? By the food prep? Yeah. Do, do you see anybody by the food prep? This, this one. Yeah, there they are. And I'm over here just gathering random bits of meat. Hey, I hear you found a. Dra I hear you talked to a dragon today. I say to the chick. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, they ran off to fish. Do you know where specifically we come and meet a dragon? Uh, like, fish. You do know what fish is, right? Yeah, I do. No, not like a lake. Fishy. As much as that is, too, but not that kind of fishy. What kind of fishing? And she kind of points to one of the booths. <laughs> booths. One of the carnival game booths. One of the carnival game. Oh! Fishing. They want, yeah. a... they want to play a carnival game? Yeah. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. And then I, then I say, and then I say really loud. I say, Jem, Jem, come here. What do you want? <laughs> the way. And then I see the doll behind me, and I freak out. And I just like, I jump a little bit, and I'm just like, Jesus, don't sneak up on me like that. And I walk Wedge. away. Wedge giggles. Uh, I start going this way, seeing her go this way. It was this way towards the carnival tent? The game tents? So the game uh, tents, just just to help specify, you have, and I'll pull out my little ruler to do this, so everything in your side of the carnival is this way, right? The main yeah. attraction tents, up here. You guys are part of the main attraction yes. tents. Good job yes. for you guys. Side attraction tents are this tent and this okay. tent. So these do not have games. The game section is this entire section and this entire section food stand uh laboratory and you know random bull crap entry fees etc okay. are down well that green one's definitely food i mean it has yeah yeah and pie. yeah can, can yeah. i roll to see if i know which tent has fishing uh yes you can is that a... that is a prior knowledge i will say for every decade you've spent at the carnival any carnival related role you will get a plus one okay that means i got a map yeah how many years were you at the carnival i was born here <laughs> how old are you I, I get a plus 13 there you go i was only here for like 20 years 30 years ish i think so, so you get a plus three what am I technically rolling? So for this, I would this say... Hmm, this history? is a tough one. Yes, because this is your history. 
So I get a plus 12 instead. Uh, that's a 16 plus, uh, history, 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 history. Plus 4, plus 2, so plus 6. 16 plus 6 yeah. is 22. And I, and I wanted, and I want them to be high like this because with the exception of stuff that may come come later, as you'll see, you guys have been working here. You should know where the fishing, you know what I mean? That should, there yeah. should be no, there shouldn't really be many things around here that are general things that you don't know about. Yeah. I and, got a 25, by the way. Yeah, Gunther gets a plus 20, so he basically wins the roll every time. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a natural 20. Da -dum Anyway. In the meantime, um, the character kind of the um, uh, the person that you have did does tag along because why not? Okay. Yeah. Sounds so then we go good. To the fishing tent. Which one's the fishing tent? The blue one? Yes. This one. Oh, this this one? one. Yeah, the circle one. Oh, okay. So then we go over here. Hey, Boo, can you not? Can you not? Excuse me. The answer is no. They they must. Uh, but <laughs> so is, is Jules' character not part of our troop? Uh, that is really up for you guys to decide, and her. That's uh, Jules, are you part of our troop? Do I recognize her? Uh, gosh. Mind you, I was born here, so I've been here my entire life. I mean, life. you should recognize a good portion of people. You wouldn't know everybody very well, but you'd basically know everyone by I know name. Faces. I... If you didn't know their face, you would have heard their name around the carnival. If not, I mean, she does probably stick out a sore thumb. Especially since she... It looks like a CL. She is a type of elf. We got a mermaid show. Let's do this. Zach. Anyone got clean water? What is this magic you speak of? I don't actually think that's a spell. <laughs> yes, it is. I think it is. For water. it's wizard, I believe. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where's the doll? I do. Clerics have create water. Let me see, though. Let me see. Uh, druids get it. Uh, sorcerers get it. Wizards get it. Again, that's not the thing I wanted to plug in. I always it forget is. when I have the mic muted, so I don't have the fire going. I'm assuming at this point, because there's really no one being too committal, that Jules probably not part of the troop yet. So I introduce myself to her and ask, have you ever been interested in a life as a carnival? I... I mean, why not? I mean, it's, it's more of a, you know... I mean it just like it would be nice. How do you feel about long periods of time in tanks? In what? In tanks. Of water. Oh. Yes, of water. I'm going to probably better outfits and because she's she's wearing at least probably a scholar robe on. That's okay. We, we, got we can make this work. Yeah, you can make this work. You'll be spoiled, you just gotta look pretty. And maybe snarl at a couple of, uh, rude little children. Just to keep... Or you can cast a fireball at them, I don't know. I... You don't think it would be. Okay, hit them with some lightning. Whatever, hit them with a spell. Freeze them to death. Who cares? They're just children. <laughs> From from which you just hear Pies from across the carnival. No more dead kids. <laughs> Did you just hear like, oh gosh? If no. you kill one more kid, I'm sending you over to the other carnival. Oh gosh. So how many kids have Gunther killed? Oh boy. Who says? Oh look at that! We're here at the fishing game. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Anyway, uh, you you obviously I'm assuming enter the fishing game. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a it's a tent. There's not like you know, uh, a whole lot going on that's gonna keep you from entering. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no doors. So I say, Oi, Clarence, where's Clarence? 
Do I hear anything? Uh, no. But once you, you know, you kind of walk in. If I can get this damn thing situated. Yeah, I knew that was too. There we go. Oh, come mother. Ah! There we go. Uh, when you walk in, you do, however, get to see a couple of people chilling around the pool. Um, one or two of which you definitely recognize. If I can get them, damn set. Nope. All right. Well, apparently my library is not working well for that, so I'm just gonna have to use the pre-made shit. Hello. Bump, 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 bump. But yeah, you you don't see a dragon, but you do see four people surrounding the fishing thing. Have uh, you seen a baby dragon around here? Black about this tall? He's not a baby dragon. He's a young adult dragon. I was told baby dragon. So he's a baby dragon. He's a dragon. He's he's a black one and about this tall. Have you seen him? Uh the guy in the middle uh looks up and uh he says, Oh hey Gunter. I see you and your people are here down at the uh swimming pool there. <laughs> we don't have much time. Have you seen a dragon? <sighs> uh, you know, we had not seen that there, uh, dragon. Unless you're talking about Clarence. Yeah, yes. Oh, yeah, we saw Clarence. He came down. He loves fishing. He he loves fishing, but he never gets to come over here. Because, you know, he, he belongs over at the other carnival and whatnot. Okay, well, where is he? We need him. Well, he was fishing for, for a while, and he, he ran off there. Which way did he go? Well, he asked us not to tell anybody. Right? Isn't that we what he said, Larry? Um, you can tell us. I don't even know your name. I mean, hi, I know Carly. Gunter's name. Oh, hi, Carly. Hi. You can tell me. You can trust me. Well, I don't know about that. But you know what we would be willing to do here, mates? If you're so, you know, interested in seeing where Clarence has gone, how about we make a bet? Can I persuade him to tell me anyway? You can try. Okay. Uh, okay, so it's a d20, and I'm gonna roll it. That's an 8, but with my modifier, uh, 17. Jesus Christ, plus 9 modifier? God damn. Yeah, Bard! I have plus 9 in persuasion. Gotta love those plus 9s. Uh, unfortunately, you were just short. Uh, he has a plus 6, because he is also a carny. <laughs> And uh, he rolled a 12. So, uh, unfortunately, he looks at you and says, No, Lassie, I think it would be a better idea for us to just have a quick and fun game. That way, you know, there's no hard feelings. And um, if, if I may ask, what's the rules of these games? Ah, sure, we're before, just gonna... Before we play any games, I've grown up here. I know all these games are rigged, or probably rigged. Ah, you know. Just tell us the information that we want. Can I try intimidating them? I mean, you can definitely try intimidating them. <laughs> oh, which one? I did try a persuasion roll. Um, as I leaned into him, I'm like, hey, how about you tell me? But, you know, let these others enjoy this fine game. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that, unfortunately, your roll was... Wait, I guess I gotta do another counter roll. Um, oh, f me. Natural 20 on intimidation. <laughs> Ooh, that's rough. Alright, he's scared, but, uh, unfortunately, the guy next to him says, Yeah, I mean... That's that's all great and all, but we'll just tell uh, we'll just tell Zathros. <laughs> I think we're good. Okay, but we need him for an act. Well, how'd you lose him? <laughs> A T Rex attacked us. Uh, also, just in case you were wondering the reason that you didn't beat that, I also got a natural twenty. <laughs> What's your modifier? <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> cause I have advantage, cause they don't want to give it to you anyway. <laughs> Uh, he's also, once again, he knows that uh, this is an organization and all he has to do is just run off to tell Pius or Zathros and they'll just come and protect his tent. Now, if he was outside the tent, he'd be a little more inclined to uh, to give it up because outside of the tent, carny law rules. And carny law is you keep what you got. Okay, but uh, if I may 
Let's watch the game. Entail. Oh man. Also, uh, this guy walks over here and he's he's like, I gotta go take a whiz. He went outside the tent. Jump follows. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, don't you go jump in our people now. We'll burn down your tent. Now, now, let's all just calm down. Tell me the rules of this game. It's yeah, easy. Down, We're gonna... <clears throat> it's, a, it's a simple game. We're both gonna fish. There's no cheating. We both take a rod. Whoever catches the most of the tadpoles, which is what I like to call them. They're not actually tadpoles. But, here's the catch. If we win, we want a gold coin. I don't have any gold. Alright. Could we have, like, a sandwich? Look how thin I am. I don't have any food. Do you got anything? How did you get a dragon? The dragon was given to us. I have... I'll give you a song. How about this? I'll give you a song. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a song in exchange for the information that I want. Hmm. Well, if it's a good enough song, let's hear you play. Okay. And so I play a song. Make your performance roll. I'm gonna, I'm gonna expecting at least an 18. At least an 18. Come on. Don't fail me now. That did not sound like an 18, I'm not gonna lie. Not from the that's dice, but from me. <laughs> that's a 14. Yeah, he would look at you like, I've seen better. I grew up around this carnival. Here's, here, let's, let's throw our fishes in the water. Let's see how it goes. We'll get, we'll do one free round. Um, Jem is going to sneak up behind the dude. I'm sorry, babe, I didn't think she was gonna get your arm. <laughs> this is why I'm a Galvin, damn it. <laughs> you can't give me stuff like this. I've told them that multiple times not to give him things. <laughs> ooh. I'm also, sorry. ooh. Me... Uh huh. <laughs> Let me see your arm. <laughs> Maybe later. Let me see your damn arm. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's not even deception. <laughs> That's persuasion at its finest. <laughs> but, uh, I'm gonna let it slide for reasons. That's a successful stealth roll for pretty much everyone, by the way. Uh, at least, uh, as far as, uh, that. Uh. <laughs> and. Yeah. With, with that being said, the the one person who wants to sneak is able to sneak. So I'm just gonna wait until he starts heading back towards the tent. <laughs> okay, you're the keep first. That's a good thing. That's, yes. That's honorable. It's very noble. Alright, he comes back from basically over here, we'll say. Um, and uh, as and he's. About right there. I would be like, listen, I don't want to play any games. I just want to get this dragon so I can successfully do what I was told to do and put on the shows that we're supposed to put on. Which way did the damn dragon go? I'm guessing intimidation or is this just a request? Oh, we can still intimidate. I mean, that's oh. up to you. If you're just requesting, he'll respond differently. If you're intimidating, he will once again try to counter you, but probably fail this time because there's no way of getting another um, 20. I rolled a 21 intimidation. Yeah, he is... I don't even know what this guy is. I've not given him anything. He is just a rando, so he has no bonuses. So he's like, all right, all right. I'll tell you the truth. I don't know if Clarence rent. I wasn't here when he came in. I just wanted to seem like it was smart. Well, you see where that got ya? <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> and she just Why walks away and goes blanket. back to the tent. He just, he just stands there crying. 
Give like, s but like not hard crying, just like oh. softly sobbing. I, I, He's like, I made him cry. <laughs> <laughs> We're carnies. We fake cry. But then she would have had, uh, she would have been able to make I've a check. Walked a, I already walked away. Well, yeah, and I would, I would have. I'm not gonna meta game. I would have. Why I follow you. The only way it would have worked also is if I'd have rolled a persuasion or a stealth above her per, her passive perception level. And even then, if she's like talking to me, I'd, I personally would probably have to give her a a roll of like being able to see if I was lying. But maybe I was like, let's go. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Anyway, so... So the game of this is hooking up a cast of fish, correct? Oh, that's the game, miss. What, uh, what's your oh, name really? again? Uh, Florence. Ah, oh, Florence. My mom used to have a friend named Florence. She was fruit. No, she's actually a vegetable. <laughs> anyway, Florence, uh, are you willing to try this fishing game with me? Florence? Oh wait, Florence is talking to me, sorry. Yes. Yep, yeah, alright. Sometimes it's easier for that. So here's how it works, Florence, and he comes over to hand you a rod. Come to the edge of the pool. Right, right here. We're both gonna cast. And from there, you need to try to hook the fish. It is short water. So even though it seems like it might be a game of luck, it's really a game of skill. Wait, 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 wait. I say, I say... I have my loot in hand still from my failed performance check, and so I say, I'd say, Florence, oh Florence, catch a lot of fish, Florence, or I swear to God, Florence. <laughs> All right, well, you, you for sure get an inspiration point for that one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> not, not from her thing. Obviously, you get that too, but I mean, for ma making that nice little ditty, you get your inspiration point to spend later. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, you're doubly inspired, you can roll twice. Like, no, right? it's so in D and D five E you get a inspiration die. Yeah. Uh basically okay. you can only have one at any time. We used to think they stacked and we were wrong. But you can use it to I believe add advantage to any roll, period. I thought you, you add the I thought it was to re -roll. Or is it a re roll? No, it is no, added to any d20 roll depending on the use of the inspiration. So, like, for instance, mine no, limits... The... No, 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 we're, we're talking the general inspiration, not bardic inspiration. We're talking oh, inspiration... So... Uh, yeah. The way I use um, general inspiration in another campaign is it's essentially a luck point. You get to choose to re-roll, but it has to be before the success is... Determined, yeah, it's only if you, and that's that's usually for any reroll, is you gotta do it before they announce whether you actually beat the check. But okay, so you, you can. Have, yeah, you have a reroll and a d6 to add to your roll. No, no, no. Oh, you, sorry. they get a d6, you get a reroll. Oh, I so, get a reroll. Yeah, inspiration oh, dice so are cool. given for playing your character well, basically, and RPing okay, well. Yeah. I got my first inspiration, and, you guys. And whenever bards sing, I like to give them an inspiration dice. Cause... Yep. Inspiration you use to give advantage on any attack, saving throw, or ability check. You can also hand your inspiration as a reward to your other players for good. Yeah. It's a, it's a nice little thing. It's one of my favorite additions, honestly, to 5e. Well, thank you. But, uh, yeah. yeah, so they are inspired. So they do get to add, uh, what was it, a d6, right? A d6. Yeah. So go uh, ahead. There's going to be, and he's going to explain. So we're gonna cast fish and hook. We'll each get three tries. It's half a minute. All right. So the way it works for this is you're basically so five good. Turns. yes. Well, technically six. One, two, one. Well, for her it would be five. Yeah, because that's how long it'll last to her last turn. Okay. Unless she goes second. Which he's going to say, we're going to flip a, we're going to flip a coin to see who goes first. 
You're okay. Uh, would you like heads or tails? I say... Why not tails? Tails it is! Alright! And, uh... Hello. So basically the way this works for rolls-wise is you're going to make... A... I'm gonna say an athletics check for the first part of casting. And it's basically that, or you could technically make a ranged attack, but you wouldn't get any proficiencies for that. Whereas with the athletics check, you just, you know, make a roll. Although, with a ranged attack, if you hit it, you know, you hit it. And you have a d6. You do. Yeah. So it wouldn't be bad. Yeah. Um, yeah. The athletics way it works is you would, or if you do skill roll, you roll athletics, then animal handling. If you get both better than, enough to get a fish, you get a fish. Alright. And Anything extra? Uh, if you wanted to do the attack roll, you would just make a basic ranged attack roll with no proficiency bonuses because you're not proficient in the weapon. You would get your inspiration bonus from the uh, bardic inspiration. And if you hit armor class, you would basically automatically hook the fish and then just have to do a strength check to pull it in. It's going to be a 1 on the strength check. <laughs> yeah, don't 1 on the strength check. To be fair, these are small fish, so you're basically yeah. you're basically yeah. good to go. But yeah, if, whichever one you want to do, go for it. Uh, the enemy will basically be doing the same thing. All right, let's see. I just had to ask you one minor question. Yeah, you can ask a question. Idea. Uh, oh, sorry. Mm -mm. Okay, just a desk. Uh, okay. Alrighty. Luckily for you, this is not a big <laughs> thing, so you're fine. A five is good enough to get close to the fish. That's not what this is about. Okay. That is enough. You're able to yank the fish in. So you've got one fish. He said, that was pretty good. You just barely managed to get that one. Yes, yes, we did. And uh, he is goes. Is there a bucket? Like, oh, is there a bucket like water? Nope. Nearby. Nope. The the, oh. the game is basically meant to be an old school version of today's fishing, where you like catch the fish, and you get to take okay. home the ones you get to get. But the fish oh, okay. are all really small, so it really doesn't matter. You're like paying more money to come and fish than you are to get the fish. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. 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 So. Which is. Like, cause I've... Which is why the. So the way the game works, just for reference as like a carnival game, it's easy to throw the thing in. There's like tons of fish in there. So it's easy to get the thing near a fish to actually hook the fish. They're really small. So unless like you can somehow convince the fish to bite onto your hook or get really lucky and skilled, you're not going to grab a fish. Yeah. So it's it, that's the way it's rigged, basically. Uh, of course. But yeah, he uh, unfortunately didn't get a fish. Uh, that is good to go. Uh, it's best of three. And you get another fish. And he missed a fish, so he, you guys win. He said, damn! You, you beat me! So, and that's when you hear this guy, this is why I tell you you shouldn't fish. You're the worst of us at fishing. You should have let anyone else fish. You should have let the fish fish. Oh, I mean. So, anyway, where is the, where did the dragon go? Oh, yeah, Clar Clarence went south. South. Cool, thanks. Bye. And I leave. Uh, <laughs> and which, um, in the meantime, Lauren's going to kind of put them, like, in the, if there's, like, some way of putting them in a body. It's going to be sure to put them in there. Alrighty, you do. You, you can basically just pump them, put, dump them right back in the pool. Okay, and she thinks the fish while they while she's at it. All right, like, so <laughs> I love how we just go all the way south. Like she just uh, puts them back in the water and just like thinks them. I just love the rest of the party has just gone all the way south. <laughs> like said, 
forget the fact that the elf is letting the fish back in the water and thanking them like they understand her. She'll be fine. She'll she'll be fine. She'll follow us. She'll figure it out. <laughs> we need this. So we I need this around... stupid dragon. Yeah, I look around for Clarence. Uh, I want people to notice that Gunther has like disappeared. Did we lose another? Okay, whatever. He'll do. He'll do his thing. He'll figure it out. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, he'll he'll find his way. Uh, I look around for the dragon. Me too. Uh, rolls an eight. It's investigation, right? Or yes. Maybe perception. You could do either one for this. Investigation is probably going to yield better results because perception would be whatever you could see at the moment. Investigation would be investigating the signs around you. At least that's how I interpret it. Investigating the signs around you to find things. A solid twelve. Another natural twenty. <laughs> All right. Well, the natural twenty, you see clear dragon tracks leading down to, towards this orange tent. The one that we're right by. Yeah. I follow the tracks. All right. This way, guys. All right. <laughs> Wrong button. Wrong button. Nah, I accidentally like, closed out a roll twenty. So we go into the orange tent. All right. One second. So, uh, I'd like everyone obviously to roll so that just so you know what you're going into, because you should probably know anyway. But obviously you don't, because you know we haven't. Six plus history. Yeah, it's a lot. Are we, are we going? Oh. <laughs> Everyone has to roll? Am I even there? No. I gotta... <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm taking a picture. Is that a natural 20 again? <laughs> it's another natural 20. That's alright, I like oh when people God. use them on things like this. Plus 12, so 32. Yeah. So, so what am I adding to this? <laughs> So base the no, you won't add jack shit. <laughs> well, history you get to add history for yours. Oh, I forgot the extra two years, extra oh. two for the time I was here. So yeah, it's for decades though, not years. Oh, if that's the case, then I'll add my negative one. <laughs> Would I have any? So I'm average as fuck. Av you basic ass bitch. I got twelve. I could have taken a natural history? fucking ten and been fine. <laughs> Does the dog know of anything? Given that she might not have always been in the thing, I'm not sure if she would. You were, I think you were always in the box, right? That's not, not to say you couldn't hear or see things in the box. Okay. Yeah. For one, but two, she's she probably just always there. <laughs> secondly, she may or may not have. You never know. Could have been. Could not yeah. have been. There's there were that hasn't the world been world fleshed world. out very well. Okay, sorry about that. I I still think she's a doll. Jesus Christ, freaking, yeah. Creepy haunted doll. Fucking Christ. Alright, so pretty much everyone but Michael uh, knows this is the fire breather tent. Fire breather tent? And the acid dragon goes to a fire breathing tent. Every but would she know the doll knows? Everyone has dreams. Uh, the doll would get a uh, roll equal to the number of years she's been at the carnival. Well, decades, sorry. So d20 plus history plus n number of decades you've been at the carnival. Okay. It's a lot. Because she's been in that box long enough that Gunther had no idea what was in there. <laughs> But once again, that's not to say that she was always in the box. But it's like a pretty much guaranteed success then, right? Yeah, pretty much. Most yeah, of you are pretty I guaranteed. I rolled a 14 without adding anything. I have a negative one to history, but I've been there a while. Same so. Z's! <laughs> it's alright. Like I'll let you guys know somebody rolled a 2 and got so much higher than all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. To be fair, to be fair my natural 20. <laughs> Oh, True. Gosh, no, yeah, no, natural twenty still wins. This is like... Oh, also. Oh no. Jewel, you have that. You have that inspiration for ten minutes. For your oh, bardic inspiration, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. your inspiration Wait, dice, the one that's not bardic, uh, lasts until you use it. Radical. Yeah, it's a nice thing. Where's my... There it is. But yeah, as 
as you guys go in. If I can say something quick, it was the running gag joke is, um, the whole, um, mini game. Did it because of how many times, uh, like, after the first roll, back to back nat 20. Oh um, lord, yeah. I'm not even so I died with back to back nat 20s. Exactly. Wait until we until we uh, have to fight something and then it's all going to be ones. Nat ones. Really? Nat ones, a four. And so what you see them currently doing is all of the uh, fire breathers are together uh, blowing fire into a larger circle in the center that is like making shapes and doing fancy movements and stuff. I walk in and I say, "Hello, fire breathers." I'm and which far away from? Kind of, this is kind of far away from my tent, so I don't know if you've ever met me before. I'm Carly. Hi, how are you? Uh, and actually, that's something I forget that you've been there long enough. You can make a roll. You should have a uh, twenty-five percent chance that anybody you meet, you know them. Radical. So if you just so roll one d twenty, if you get, uh, sorry, no, you it's yours is gonna be lower. It's gonna be a ten percent chance. So if you roll above a 90, you will, that person will know you. Above a 90? I got a 10. Hmm. I, you said D20? Sorry, D100. Oh, okay. Let yeah, me get percentile. That. Percentile, my problem. My bad. Uh, so just the one with two numbers on it, right? That's your hundreds. That's so what I want, right? And you'll need one of those and then your D10 as well. So you got to roll two sets of dice to do the hundreds. Okay. I guess not sets. Here's 1d10. Uh, sorry. There's it, there's it. Uh, I got a 10 on the one with two numbers, and a 6 on the other. So is that a 16? Yes, it is a 16. I got a 16. So they don't know me. Right? Yeah, now they don't know you. Say hi, I'm Carly. They're gonna go uh look at you and then kinda point at their faces. Yeah, yeah, you're kinda busy. Uh can you point me out which way the black dragon went? The little one. Clarence. Clarence, he's about yay high. Uh at which point uh they kind of like one of them stops spitting fire and just signals to the other to like take five and he comes up to you and he's like why are you looking for Clarence Clarence is supposed to be on a leash yeah but see we kind of got a little um attacked bamboozled. Uh, attacked bamboozled you know you know how it goes here sometimes uh, but we, uh, uh, need to partner up with him for something that will, uh, that I think will be really neat. But he just kind of ran off. We need to find him. And oh, okay. Know. He lied. He told us he had a day off. Which seemed weird, because he's never had a day off before. Well, that's not very nice. Well, don't worry. I'm sure... As you guys are in the middle of conversation, everyone hears from outside the tent. Gotta get Black Dragon. Black Dragon, other side. Gotta get Black Dragon. Clarence. Clarence. And you watch it as the as Gunther starts going west. Okay. Right, so since he told you he had a day off, do you know where he's spending his supposed day off? Mm -hmm. Well, when Clarence has a day off, he kinda likes to go and fight. You said he never has a day off. Yeah, that's why he likes to fight. Fight okay. who? Who? Well, there's what? yeah, there's a uh, arena, you know, the arena. Which awesome, yeah, great, awesome, perfect, love it, awesome, love it. Uh, cool. Which way would that be? Do I know? Uh, west. No, <laughs> 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 no, that's uh, that would be at the other carnival. We don't uh, we don't condone fighting here. Of course, it would be unless it's you know a show. Then why would he come here to go back over there? I'm, I, I, I don't know. I'm not Clarence. 
Maybe he just wanted to see your amazing performance. He does like an NVR ability to spit hot fire. Don't we all? Yeah. Bust the beat! <laughs> and plus Florence, Florence as well, I mean... Is that a... He's fire. Nah, Florence breathes acid. Not nearly as sexy. Alright, thanks for the info, bye! Alright! <laughs> Run away. We run to the other carnival. Back the way we fucking came. <laughs> <laughs> no. And Florence is just going to do a um uh, um dragon breath. The spell breath. She's gonna do a try to do a, a use the inspiration die for it. Why not? Yeah, do it. Do it. Hey, all right. That's pretty decent. They're gonna they're gonna use that in conjunction with the spell, so it's it's a pretty impressive thing. Yeah, actually, it would be a six. Oh yeah, now it's a sixteen. Uh, so yeah, they're they're pretty busy. They're like, oh, that's that's pretty good. You're almost good enough to join us. Thank you, but uh, like I said, I try my best. Yeah, yeah. And more. Yeah, I do I do I do have. Alrighty, so uh, back to the other <laughs> carnival. You know I how adorable it is just to hear a little squeak, squeak, squeak in the background. <laughs> yeah, Yasha has no concept of I'm on a call. Uh, you know that's absolutely fine. Yasha can keep yeah. doing on a little chew toy. <laughs> and the fun thing is, this isn't even all the same one. She's gathered like five around me. <laughs> <laughs> Just around you specifically. Yeah, she's bringing them to me, and I'm throwing them away. <laughs> That's why she keeps bringing them to you. Keep throwing them away. Yeah, just keep them up on the desk. See what she does. God no. She, she'd end up jumping up on the desk. Exactly. She's feisty. Haven't you learned this yet, Ashley? No, I have not met her yet in person. Okay, but from the stories. Yeah, from the stories. To the and after, and as after, done, uh, and Get the dragon, out. yeah, and those, and the dragon breath is like regular fire, blue, like if it's iced. So, yeah, because you can pick what kind of it is. So I would be a little. Blue. Do I see that? Do you see the what? Do I see her do that? Uh, I mean, unless she does stealth, theoretically, yeah. Radical. And I say, Radical Florence, come on, we might have to fight something later. <laughs> ah, that's a trick. Waves off to the fire breathers and catch. Bye, Florence, we'll always remember you. <gasps> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she is Florence in the. Okay, I wouldn't say Florence machine. I'm not gonna look for Gunther because he almost died last time, so he won't do us any good in a fight. <laughs> we gonna go away? <laughs> uh, that's okay. Um, you might be surprised. Uh, anyway. I might be, but I won't be. We are uh, headed back to the other map. Back to the entrance, obviously, where we were before. Cover. Spider. <laughs> Mummy spider. Um, wait, I got a question. Yes. Uh. <laughs> I have to ask this in that question. Yeah, you just gotta tell me where you want it. Oh, sorry. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, God I damn mean, it, Axel, you hooker! Ha ha! I mean, could it be like follow her? Sure, and yours was a. It's a dragon. Thought so. I knew it was a dragon. I can only do. 
second. Yeah, I can only do tiny little things. That well, spin tiny little. There we go. And there we go. Hey, it's Clarence. Nah, Clarence bigger than that. It's Clarence shrunk. Someone cast tiny on Clarence. <laughs> Not all black dragons are the same races. God, Jesus. <laughs> no, wait, 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 what just happened? I missed it. Fuck <laughs> day. What did I miss? Oh, After that, oh my God. we're making jokes that uh, someone cast tiny on Clarence. Yeah, we're apparently being racist towards the dragons. The, the Clarence. Is this tiny dragon, even though it's black dragon, and smaller than Clarence, is Clarence. AKA, racist. Clarence T. Clarence too. It's fine. No, Clarence no, no, 2.0. No. And when she just looks at it, she's like, no, that's familiar. Oh, you have a familiar? I'll talk yeah. to you eventually. No. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I'm just no. waiting for you fuckers to talk to Sarah's show. <laughs> I haven't yet. I haven't yet. And you see Laura's like, wait a minute. No, no, no. It's intelligent enough not to... I'm uh, not. Never mind. Never mind. Anyway. It can un it must understand you as it is. Yeah, but I can't. It can't talk to me like that, right? What was your familiar's name? I'm good. At really? I was. I didn't think this far. Out of here, trying to think this far. Someone's gonna act. No beans. Not no beans. Then we're gonna re re we're gonna rewind a little bit. I said I didn't ask yet. Let's go find the dragon. Let's, yes. Let's go find the dragon. I mean, it just looks at it just like, you do realize, I mean, technically this is a... Never mind. Okay. But, I get what you mean. Different, uh, the familiar, uh, you're looking for, uh, Claren uh, for the dragon. Clarence. We're looking for Clarence because he's being a little jerk. Let me... Maybe he just wants a, a day to himself. Listen, D he can have a day to himself after he's done performing for us tomorrow. We just need to- he can have the rest of the day. As long as he knows that we need him tomorrow. <laughs> of course. He'll, he'll probably need to have somebody with him so that he doesn't like run off. I'll watch after him. Thank I mean, you. I- I mean, I could, I mean- Maybe, uh, this little guy could do it. No, no, the ranger- the ranger are you- he, ran, I'm doing it. Ranger's doing I it. I mean, I mean, you understand? Yes, I actually speak Draconic, so. Oh, okay. Okay. So this might work. So we go find the dragon. Uh, at the fighting circle. Where's the fighting pit? The fighting pit is, actually, it because it's a bigger area. It is in this carnival, but it's to the north up here. So it's past. It's past all this shit. So we will actually have to make another switch of maps, but I digress. It was always intended to switch maps to the fighting arena. Just wanted to make that known. Okay. Then we go find the. We go to the fighting arena. All right, we're going to the yes. fighting arena. Okay. Yes. Yes. Da, da, da. While we walk, can I check out the doll again? Yeah, it's gonna take a few minutes to get to the fighting arena because it is actually a ways north. Okay, I stand kind of far, kind of like not right beside it, but still like keeping like gem and uh, gem between me and the dra the doll. But I look at the doll. What would that be? A uh, perception or investigation? What would it be? So you're. Um, I'm, just I'm pretty sure if you're looking at the doll, it's it's looking into the abyss. There's no rule. Now. <laughs> it's looking back at you. You're going to have to defend roll. Uh, no, oh, but guess. no, but uh, you're. I would say probably investigation because you're looking at it and you're looking for things, but you're trying to figure out something about it. Twenty-one. Alrighty. Tempted. Uh, the shape just. <laughs> Because the, I mean, she's, it's already been set up as a joke of Florence. The <laughs> That's a bad joke. 
I'm sorry, but I missed half of it because you're cutting out. I joked to said. If nothing goes, we can always just name the dragon machine. Or something. <laughs> Florence and the machine. Yes. Ah, uh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> but I rolled a 21 on the doll, so what can you tell me about the doll? What do I learn about the doll? So, I'm waiting for a response to someone. Okay, so looking at it, you see that the doll's eyes move every once in a while for whatever reason. It seems to like dart back and forth once in a while. And this is the fighting arena on the bottom. I have not separated them. My apologies. Huh. So... Your doll's cool. I said that once already, but your doll's cool. Yeah, she is pretty cool. What's her name? Uh... Az... Uh... Azuva? Azua? Azuva. Azuva. I'm not gonna Azuva. lie, it does, but Azuva. just <laughs> go with you for one second. Azuva, okay. Cool, uh... So we're at the fighting pit now, we'll deal with that doll in a minute. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Wait, yeah. what, do you mean, what do you mean deal with it? Uh, nothing, let's go. Let's go find Clarence. Hi, right, Clarence. Clarence. <laughs> okay, I got a name for it. I got a name for the thing. Okay, okay, what's your name? Ursula. Ursula. I thought you. I, like I thought. I, like I thought it was gonna be named the machine. No. That was just the uh, if we couldn't if you couldn't think of anything. Exactly. It was a placeholder. It's a nickname. Yeah. Yes. It's a moniker. It's Ursula there you the go. machine. Ursula the machine. <laughs> No, I don't want to be in the fighting pit. Oh God! Yeah, that's. I'm sorry. My apologies. We uh, we had to up the size of the fighting pit. It's supposed to be bigger than that. But anyway, yep. There you go. Now, yeah, there's a name for it. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. So I mean, I'll be adding people as we go because there's a decent amount of people around the fighting pit at this point. Still, this this place is just constantly packed. So. So do I see Clarence? Uh, I'm not. That's the same thing. <laughs> not right off the bat, no. Not right off the bat. Yeah, sure. What'd you do? Okay. Um. So I go over. Is this a person right here? I'm in front of. Right here. Yep. Yeah, right here. Okay. So I walk up to him and I say hi. I roll my percentile dice to see if they recognize me. Would that count if I'm on the other side of the carnival? Yep, counts everywhere. Especially uh, since you have not, like, uh, specified that you only grew up on one side of the carnival. Fair. 55, so they don't know me. Hi, I'm Carly. Hi, Carly. How's it going? It's going pretty good, pretty good. Uh, real quick question. Do you happen to see a, a black dragon come by here about, yeah, about Yay Hall? Answers to Clarence. Hmm, I do remember something about that. Was he in? Did he come here to fight? Where'd hmm. he go? Well, I've only been here about maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Oh. So since do the start know? of this fight. Do you know who was here longer? Who was here for the last fight? Hmm, there was a couple people. They come in and out. A lot of them are waiting to fight. So, you know, some people who were here with longer, that guy over there, and he points at this one. And then, okay. it, and then at this one. And <laughs> this one is that the only one I know who's been here uh, a little longer than that is this guy. That guy. Yeah. His name's Harg. Okay. Harg. Harg. Harg okay. Throgged. Harg Throgged. Okay. Uh, what's the likelihood Sorry. of him answering anything while he's in the fight? Uh, while in the fight, I'm not even 100% sure he can talk. Okay. 
I don't even know if that's his real name. That's just what I want to call him. That's just what you want to call him. Yeah. Get him, Hog Throgged! What I know is Clark is like essentially the reigning champ of the pit. Uh, you probably could. I will say this pit, like, this is not the time when the champion would be out. This is like more of an open tourney time. Or better wording, um, does he frequent and he does well a lot? Uh, you might be able to know that. I'd say you'd have to roll history for that one, especially since not necessarily like immediately familiar with him. Straight history or carnival history? Uh, this one will be carnival history, so you should be doing decent. Twenty-nine. <laughs> okay, that should be good, just barely though. Um, so basically, you know that Harg uh, likes to stay around the pit early during the weaker rounds, but he doesn't enter main competitions. So he's the amateur champion. Got it. Yeah, he, he's like a rookie hunter, basically. Okay. So thank you for that information, and then I walk back over to the group, and I say, Harg might know where Clarence is, but I think Harg's in the middle of something right now. At which point you see uh, one of the last of Harg's uh, combatants die. <laughs> uh, then I say, okay, never mind. And I hop over the railing. Uh, oh no. And I say, Carly, 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 I wouldn't do that if I were you. And then I hop back. Fucking <laughs> 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 just, I loved it too. I was like turned around immediately. Just, yes, a new challenge. Uh, well, okay then. No new challenges. <laughs> so he's. And I say, Oi, Harg, I have a question. Uh, he's currently battle crying. So he can't hear you. In fact, you probably can't hear yourself. Cause he's like victory crying, like just. Rah. Uh, then I use a uh, minor illusion to. No, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, I use mage hand to just poke his nose. I mean, okay. I, I... Boop is just boop is snoot right there. Just boop. I feel like that's. Even though it is not intended to do any damage, it is still a ranged uh, attack of some sort somehow. To see if you could actually boot said Snoot. Yes, I feel like his intense combat reactions would, uh, <laughs> at this heightened state, may or may not prevent you from uh, booping the Snoot of Hard Throgged. See, that's an 11 plus. What do I add? Uh. Shit. Hopes and dreams. Um, your spell. Would it be should the be a spell, I think. modifier? I think it is, but I'd have to recheck the spell. You said it was Mage Hand, right? Mage Hand. Oh, uh, Lord. Hand. I forgot there was hot sauce in my burritos, and then I wiped my eyes, so I needed to clean up. Ooh, Ooh, I've been there. I've been there because I was making pico earlier. Because I ran out of green chili to make salsa. Damn it! Mm. Uh. And that's mage hand. There we go. Uh, floating hit for hand. Hand lasts for duration. Use you can use the hand as a treatment. for the consequences. Actually, it can't attack or carry more than ten pounds. So I can't boop the snoot. I mean, it's not technically an attack. No, There's no like malice. I just feel like this is, goes against everything that the spell is supposed to I feel like it defies the laws of combat, but I'm going to allow this but, for but purely comedic. <laughs> That's why I feel like it defies the laws of combat. <laughs> so I rolled an 11. My spell attack gonna, modifier is I'm gonna 7. I'm going to let this slide, not because of your roll or your modifier, but because I think it will be funny. Awesome. <laughs> Fair. So yeah. That, I, I cast Mage Hand, and I just... Boop his nose with an 18. Alright, and I need to roll a d100 real quick. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, well that was bad for my... In which Florence is watching this, it's just like, what am 
am I watching? <laughs> I moved to Snoot, okay? It's fine. Yeah, you know, I got that. I could, she's just like, yeah, I got that, but why? I needed attention. Alright, well, um... He swings at the mid hand, which obviously I mean he can't do anything to it. It's a spectral hand, but I dismiss it as he as he hits it. I dismiss it. All right, so he once again yells out in like thunderous like triumph, just like I have killed my enemies once again. Even ghosts like... fall at the power of Monsieur Clementine. Clementine. Monsieur Clementine. Monsieur. Monsieur Clementine. Okay, I, oui, I'm, oui, just there, I'm just standing there clapping, and I said, "Woo, Mr. Clementine! I have a question." Can, can Jen size him up and figure out if she thinks she could take him? I mean, that's totally up to you. Yeah, I feel like that's like I feel like that one is definitely like perception as opposed to like investigation. It's like, okay. all right, sizing somebody. I'm just like, can I beat this guy up? I feel like it's a fair question, too. I feel like I ask that a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna roll for perception as well. Just 23. To... That's just a pretty good perception. <laughs> I'm a horrible ranger. How can I not find this? What the f man? See, this, I need to find a new source for these. One point. Alright, I'm just going to the book. I don't even know why I look anymore. And I'm going to freaking Xanthar's. No, no. No. Cause Volos. Gemma has an idea if she thinks she can take him. <laughs> and so I, I pull out like a handkerchief and I'm waving it at him and I say, Woo! I have a question! Look over here! Um, going to even help you even further with it, um, Florence, to, uh, pre-digit... Del. Digit... Press the digitation? Yes. And you like a flower of, uh, you know, make it more noticeable? <laughs> like trying to get to getting this guy's attention while being still celebratory, is it? Sparks? Like yeah. fireworks? Mm, yeah, fireworks. yeah. Fireworks. And yeah. then he charges at the waving cloth. <laughs> and I drop oh. that guy back on. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to gosh, that happens when you just, you just hear about two of you. Nope. <laughs> Not big enough for my gem. Yeah, because that makes sense, and... <laughs> She's my monk friend! <laughs> Who wants to pick a fight? <laughs> yeah, clearly, clearly, that makes perfect sense! <laughs> <laughs> she, but I, she needs to know if she thinks she can take him! <laughs> she needs to know if she thinks she can! It's important information. Uh... So... Looking at this, uh, based on your, all right, yeah. Anyway, but before, you know, we get any further, I'll just tell you what you think. Uh, you look at this guy and you, you're a little intimidated. One, he's large size. He's not like, I didn't size him incorrectly. That's how big he is. Yeah, uh, he's a, he looks like a troll, but he does not look like your average troll. Uh, one, he's wielding a fucking sword. Uh, smarter than the average troll. He may or may not be smarter than your average troll, boo boo. Uh, but no, Monsieur <laughs> Clementine uh, has a big scar across his face. He act he wields a sword and a shield, uh, and he's actually got a glyphed uh, robe on. Huh. Does, she, does she think she could take him if she could convince him to put down the sword and the shield? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, he looks pretty intimidating even without it, but you might have deluded yourself that far. <laughs> the thing is, oh are, are we talking alone or as a group? Oh, she's talking one on one. Oh, yeah. Um, no. Like, bare fisticuffs. <laughs> I don't. I don't think you'd fare too well there. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. Uh, That's fair. I rolled well enough to figure that out. Yeah, you rolled pretty well. I mean, had you rolled a one, I would have been like, yeah, no, you think you could take his ass. Oh, yeah, I was fully totally uh, expecting uh, that if I had rolled terribly. Oh, yeah. Um, But no, he's he's looking, uh, he's actually looking pretty done, though. He looks like he's been 
fighting. There's another troll in there dead. So he's been putting in some work. Um, but he's okay. he's finishes his roar and says, Yes, I'm Monster Clementine and he sees you looking, he's like, What are you looking at? I have a question. Yes. I'm gonna roll to see if he recognizes me. <laughs> hey, this is a good thing. Yeah. This is true. It it could help with DCs. You could help a lot. Uh, Sixty six. He doesn't recognize me. No, unfortunately. It's like the opposite of divine intervention. <laughs> yeah. So I say, I say, Mr. Monsieur Clementine, that was such a fantastic performance. I have to wonder though, have you seen, have you fought a black dragon named Clarence? Hmm. Hmm. About yay high. Looks kind of like her dragon, but bigger. <laughs> mm. In which uh, Florence is like, yeah, I I even if I was to, to cast on poor Earth, it wouldn't do much better, but I get what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Monsieur Clementine looks down and says, uh, no, madame, I do not believe I have. Uh, you see... Though I have been here quite a while, uh, when I arrived, there was no one in the Colosseum yet, as I like to no. call the Battle Arena. No one? No, no one. So you haven't seen a black dragon? No. However, I did hear from the people who were leaving the arena earlier. They were not in the arena, they were leaving the campground south of here that there was a dragon and that there will be one later there will be one later i was trying to stay and fight him you see but i've grown quite bored with my competition and unfortunately i'm running low on time my sword has broken it is a bad day mm -hmm. i'll have to fight uh, the dragon another time i completely understand you said they were going south uh yes the people who had seen him they were going south Back towards, uh, back towards the carnival. I have sorry. Sword has broken. Yes, my sword has broken. I, I wish I could. Can I? I know the feeling. So. Yes, yes. Even I. Am. Week, but yes. Uh, so I assume people are going to try to go back down south. I can I make an investigation check to see if the dragon went south. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna make an investigation check. While she's rolling that, can I roll perception to see if there's anyone who looks like they're about to hop in that gem thing she could take? Uh, yeah. There's actually several people getting ready to hop in the thing. Uh, they're just kind of like, look like they're waiting for Clementine to hop out. Thirteen. Bang. Uh, oh. Oh, boy. Because I'm thinking, I'm, I feel bad that Clementine is... <laughs> but Floyd can't do it. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll, he'll work himself out. Uh, I guess... I rolled perception. I rolled an eight. So she probably thinks she could take all of these guys. Oh. <laughs> probably. Oh, gosh. Please. To be fair, there's only four of them. Jem, Jem, we're going uh. south. Jem. Jem, we're, Jem, we're going south. Let's go, Jem. I'm doing a perception on the uh, guys who entered the ring as well. <laughs> Uh, take them. As as you guys are doing the perception and as the people are fleeing, you just hear the the, the, the four arcs laugh and they're like, oh, I was looking forward to fighting some people from over on the other carnival, but I guess they're all just wimps and cowards as usual. Oh, heck no, she jumps in. <laughs> well. <laughs> Man, that was easy. <laughs> 
listen! I, I want to do some dope monk shit. <laughs> Hey, uh, I got the I got the sense of that. I kind of felt the vibes that someone wanted to do uh, some stuff. Oh uh, man, that was that was great. That you I can't stand for being called a fucking wimp. So yeah, I think it's time for uh, Wedge to kick some ass. I've been called worse. Well, you popcorn know, on here. You get your popcorn. It. Gunther Limited. Once in a lifetime. Right here. Get your popcorn. Meanwhile, uh, Florence is just staying inside. And, uh, I'm not getting in between that. And so Isn't that my... Like... Go ahead. And she's just like, I'm not getting in between This is clearly a fight. Okay. And then I say, I say, Gunther, are you coming in or not? You picked the fight, why am I involved? Because, you're because right. they're talking they're talking bad about our uh our carney. They insulted us personally. But they didn't insult me. Did you insult me? And I looked to the guy who's starting to They absolutely did. Like you are a wimp and you eat metal. I didn't even need to roll deception for that. <laughs> it's not wrong. <laughs> they are totally <laughs> picking a fight. Uh, and I keep forgetting I'm pushed to talk. I hand popcorn off to the people who are next to me, and I get. This is like hold my corn. Uh, yeah. Florence is gonna take the thing that he's selling popcorn with. And she's like, I'll take the okay. I'll take <laughs> middle of this between a bunch. Good. I I nonchalantly remind. Jules' character as she takes the popcorn that there is rock candy. Ooh, 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 some rock candy too. Save me, rock candy. <laughs> She's like, yeah, sure, sure. She just thumbs up it. It's just like, yeah. And then, and then I say, I say to Gunther, I say, hey, hey, just stay, stay range. Use range spells. You've got like seven hit points. What? What? I have I, I have seven hit points. Ish. Didn't you get eaten yesterday? Earlier today. I got better. <laughs> I got better. That's, that's, that's such a fucking Monty Python thing. Unlike Zane's oh, character. Because <laughs> just, just a scratch. Just a scratch. Oh, Your yeah, arm's gone, you bloody. Li I, I I I I rub my face and I heal myself another. Another one point. You mean it? He's able to do this. It's a D4 plus 4. Oh, excuse me, 5 points. Yeah, I know. I'm about 26 to 31. Oh, well, the Meanwhile. Game. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. <laughs> meanwhile, Oda, uh, not Oda, shoot. I mean, uh, Floyd's just gonna say, Get your popcorn, get your snacks! Come watch the best, uh, uh, two tenths of the get clashing against each other! <laughs> She's just, just going for it, uh, for the old announce. Which, by the way, just saying, just uh, putting this out there, does actually start to gather a crowd of regular people and like carnies from around the carnival around. And she does do uh, some more predi uh, predi <laughs> do more of the cantrip just to to make it more flashy. Why the heck not? Oh man! Wedge, Wedge then turns around. Take your bets. Give them all oh. that chick over there. Which who does he point to when he? That? I think we I'm all know. Your character, Jewel. Oh, of course, Lauren. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay, but I have to man station. <laughs> and which is that point, she's just like, you know what? Screw it, I got a better. Shh. Uh, just... I'm gonna roll initiative as well. Uh, in which she does this and just has the. Board on one end, the snacks on one end, and beds on the other. It's just like, okay, here's a stand, a makeshift stand. Why the hell not? Nice, I got a 17 initiative. Oops, how do I undo that? Oops. I, how do I get rid of that? Click Here. the line. Eh. Eh. You should be able to, like, move it now. And then eh. you can murder it. <laughs> you, you might need to switch to the arrow first. Oh, yeah. Uh, Wait, yeah. Yeah. Well, yep. I can't. Uh, I can't. But. 
I still have snack. Okay. 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 Cool beans. You got your, you got your <laughs> money on that one? That one right there is getting the money shot. <laughs> that sounds dirty. Which one was talking shit? <laughs> Um, uh, all of them, but, so they got four of them here, as you can see. Um, and they all seem to be orcs, by the way, which is a little odd. You should, you should note, because as you've noted before, in the carnival is a very wide selection of races. In, in so far, uh, even including yourselves, I don't think anybody, like, two people have the same race. That's about it. And that's our, mm, I got a hard eight as my initiative. Well, you sh I, and you might not be able to because I'm... Oh, you know what? I know what I have to do here. Give me a moment. Re-adding turns to the initiative. What the fuck is that? That is so weird. It was big. Made a big one. Okay. Okay, and in the meantime, I'm guessing, do I have to do initiative here? Uh, yeah. I mean, you don't even have to fight, but... Yeah, I do. Technically, don't, in case yeah. of, you know, in case you want to help him in the fight, we should know where you're at. Speaking of, I'm going Easy. mute for... Horrible is going. Because I can't draw, because unsteady hands and mouse don't fucking work. It's okay, though. Because I can fix it. Thirteen initiative, very nice. I I like my seventeen. I feel good about myself. I got <laughs> uh, so I got <laughs> rolled a four, and my initiative is plus four. In the all honesty, good sense of humor of this is that yeah, she can't actually fight because she isn't a just a books and nerd one. She blade, blade oh. singer, a blade sink. Yeah, so she and she. She just doesn't have a weapon, really, a good weapon on her. Right now, she just look at Dagger and the magic. <laughs> and the oh. ability. I, I've realized why, I, why my initiative is an 8. It's because I was too flabbergasted at Gem running in that I just kind of <laughs> taking a moment to myself, and I'm like, what the fuck, Gem? Yep, that All sounds better. Go south, Gem! Yes! I can't let them talk crap. I've been called worse. It's fine. I've been called worse by people who should matter more than this. And like I said, you don't have to fight. <laughs> I do, though. You're my person. Then we're gonna fight. <laughs> fucker. You fucker. You brought her. Oh, gosh. And then the shit out of character areas of how she... I, no, no. That, the funny thing about it is that fishing have me crack up. And technically, Jem brought me. She found me. She's so, been here. I'm what, new. What you're saying is <laughs> you should go fuck each other? Ew. Oh my. <laughs> She's my friend. <laughs> Not that she'd ever say that. I mean, what's casual sex between two friends? I mean, hey, fair. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if there's the possibility of money involved. I mean, I'm a bard, so who cares? Oh, uh, gosh. And then, like I said, this is funny. Funny. <laughs> God damn it, I keep forgetting I was me. <laughs> uh, rip, rip. But, uh, just so you don't miss it, I'm not letting you fuck me however much money you pay me, Michael. <laughs> Exactly, that is true. That one's not a bunch of instruments. I'm made out of flesh. That's fine. And not all bard uh not all engineers are bards. They can be mages. True. As we yeah. as we saw. And I am made of earth. Ah. <laughs> Clearly nothing.
Then it not paid enough to watch this shit show about to take place. You don't get paid enough, what are you talking about? We don't pay you at all. Yes, but even though she won the fishing game. <laughs> even though they pulled out of rigging in that. Are you seriously a zero initiative? We may have got a minus. I think it'd be pretty hard to get a zero initiative. Because I yeah. I mean, I have a character who's capable of doing it. Like, not this character, but another character. No, I rolled initiative apparently before he did the turn order. Ah. That is my bad. Oh, yeah, I had to reset it because some people weren't going to be able to set theirs. Uh, having said that, I think we're pretty good. Go. You need to flip the bottom two. <laughs>